once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel i hope most of them would see this kind of images in the websites when submitting your details like gmail.com or in the bank applications right in this video i'm going to explain about some interesting topic in web application security called google recaptcha before going to this video the requirement for this video to follow is a little bit of knowledge on cloud and how web application works that's it let's get into the slide first we will see why we need this service or resource in our web application or i can ask why we need to implement this if you take any open web application like github or gitlab gmail or spotify or gana sign in applications that page or form is publicly accessible to anyone that means a anonymous user can easily navigate to the page the page doesn't require any username and password right so uh, to submit the form and it is easily accessible uh, we must secure our page as much as possible since this page is publicly accessible and does it need any username and password to submit the form we need to secure the page as much as possible to secure our web page we need to implement some of the firewall protection options like sql injection cross site scripting honeypot disable autofill and few more and in that firewall protection options one of the way to secure the page was to use google recaptcha and that is we are going to see in the upcoming slide now let's see what is google recaptcha service basically uh, it is used to determine whether a user is human or bot when try to submit the application in short i can say recaptcha is a security service from google cloud that protects our website from fraud and misuse so it will easily distinguish between human and automatic access to website which is called as bots now let's see how to implement this as i said right initially this google recaptcha service or resource belong to the google cloud product we have to create this google or we have to create this recaptcha enterprise in the google cloud account and we need to register our domain the domain in the sense like like github.com or gitlab.com or gmail.com or spotify.com like that or you can use local host also now let's see how it works once we register our domain right they will be giving some unique key which will be called as site key then with the help of that key what we'll do is like whenever we are the user clicking that submit button in our application in our website the recaptcha will generate a encrypted token based on the information collected from the browser then the token will be validated by the google recaptcha service basically an api provided by them after assessing it and all right this recaptcha enterprise will return the score or result back to the application depending upon the score or result we determine the next step taken to the taken for the user it's a just a kind of to and fro from the application recaptcha service to determine whether the user is human or bot that's it and now let's see what are the types or version it has so this is an initial version like we need to type the text and all and later onwards it will come like this so we need to pick the images like select all images with statues and all and then it will come with this like uh, we need to have a checkbox like i am uh, not a robot like this and lastly it will come with a uh, like this one like protected by recaptcha this one is like based on the score it will assess based on the score that's it. so these are different types of version and this one is the latest version we have we call as v3 and now let's get into the demo to see how it works or how to implement and all and see these are some of the applications or websites that are using google recaptcha this is a samsung google account and the bottom corner right in the right bottom corner you can see this is they have implemented the google recaptcha over here now i'm just clicking on create account and if i click it over here or we're going back and here also we have this protected by google recaptcha or what i'm going to do is like i'm just clicking on create account and here also i'm just clicking on create account let's see what's happening i'm just clicking on i have read all the degrees i am just clicking on agree and here also they have implemented this recaptcha if you look into gitlab here also they have this recaptcha version 2 like checkbox like we need to click on the checkbox and see here in the checkbox it is asking like we need to select all the images with taxis so this is the one of the type version but everything will work with the same concept only and if you look into this spotify and see here again the bottom corner uh, they have implemented this recaptcha now if i click on sign up for this spotify let's see see here they have two kinds of uh, uh, google recaptcha one is with the kind of checkbox the kind of service see it will ask like select all the images kind of stuff and in the right side also it will have so they have more secure on this web page right now let's see how to create a site key that is a unique key right in google recaptcha service on the google cloud account so i have the google cloud account over here just you can also have a google cloud account 
on your own as a KWS account. So with a uh, with a minimal number of versions over here. And uh, here inside the security, right? Like inside the security, we have this uh, recapture enterprise service. And here you can just click on create key. In this create, click on create key, right? It will ask for the domain. Just it, it's for a display name. Like I am just giving test. And inside the domain, right? You can add the list of domains. Like I, if I am giving localhost, it will have the localhost. And if you want to give, like it will have, it, we can uh, add around 200 domains over here. Uh, for example, if I give like test.comments, and if you are giving prefix like uh, abc.test.com also, it will work. So it, it will work for the regular expression field also. Just if I click on clicking on create key means, that's it. It will create the key over here. And this is my key. And you can make this, you can take this key and you, you can be able to use that key in future. Now, what I'm going to do is like, I'm just again creating a key. I forgot to tell one information over here. I'm just adding test and adding the domain called test.com and done and here in, inside this option only it will have like how you need to present this like you need to have the checkbox challenge and all in here we see right the checkbox challenge so to get this we need to have these options like this use checkbox challenge and how it should be checkbox challenge like weak or easy or medium and all so this kind of option you can be able to do it so uh, in my application here we create a key right once we create a key we can add it in our web application now let's see uh, how to integrate that key in our web application, especially React pages. So this is my React pages. And uh, here on the bottom right corner, right, you can able to see the recapture enterprise service. So this has been added. Now I will, uh, what I did is like I loaded this uh, recapture service with the help of the URL, or I can say like I rendered using the scripts. There are NPM, NPM packages for uh, JavaScript projects or Nugget packages for .NET projects to add this Google recapture service in our application. Now let's see, now let's get into the code, like how I implemented this one. And I see here, this is my simple application, which is having my div. And inside the div, I have like a three text boxes, like one is for name, email, and one more is button. And if you see here, I have the div with the class name of recapture div. And initially I mentioned, right, I loaded it with the help of the script. So what I did is like, I just added the script. Inside the script, I just passed in a URL. So see here, URL. Inside the URL, I'm just passing a side key. This is a key which we created over there in the recapture enterprise service in Google Cloud account. And in, this is my div, right? And inside the div, I'm just appending my script. That's it. So it is getting loaded over here. Now, whenever a user is creating or filling the application, right? Submitting the form, right? So what it will do is like, it will just generate a token and that token will be validated inside the recapture service by make use of API. So that will be doing in the backend services. So I'll just click on the F submit button. See here, this is a token. I'm just showing this token. I don't have any problem because this token will be valid for only one minute or two minutes only. So I don't have any issues over here. This is the encrypted token and this can be validated in the Google recapture enterprise services through an API and they will return the score or result like whether it's a valid user or legitimate user or not. So with this recapture enterprise service, legitimate or valid user will be able to submit the form and a fake user will be blocked over here. See here, its verification is not refreshed and just clicking on again. So as I said, right, uh, with this recapture enterprise service, only the valid users will be able to submit the form and the fake user will be blocked. If you have any doubt on implementing this service, kindly let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to help you guys. And also I added this demo piece of code in my GitHub. Check in the description section for more information. Thanks for watching my video guys. Have a good day. Thank you all.